Now, don't confuse Z Project Brush or the History Recall Brush with Morph Projection. That's something uh, different. If I go in here, let's, uh, we have our head selected. Let's go ahead and turn off our detailed ear, although we've projected the detailed ear to our head. So they're both kind of the same subtool at this point. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep this head here. We're going to go down here, uh, our tool menu. We're going to go to Morph Target. We're going to store Morph Target. And that's going to store this in memory. So now if I go through here and I grab, say, the clay brush, and we'll turn on X symmetry, we can go through here, or maybe the clay buildup or clay tubes. We can go through here and we can make some pretty drastic changes. And with that morph target stored, I can go in here to switch, and that's going to switch my morph target in here. Then I go to BMO, that's the morph brush, and I can use the morph brush to morph this back. Then you can also go up here to like Z intensity, you can morph everything back. Or you can say switch, and you can use a morph brush to kind of go through and unmorph areas. However, in order for morphing to work, I can't change the geometry. If I control drag, or I go in here to geometry, Dynamesh, and I turn on giant Dynamesh if it's not on, it's going to say, uh, this brush requir requires a valid morph target. That's because I changed the vertex order. The vertex, the vertex positions don't match my morph target anymore, so it's invalid. So now I have to delete the morph target. Now I can store another morph target, and I can make changes to this one, and then I can use BMO, my morph brush, and I can morph it back. But this is looking at vertex positions and moving them back. Kind of like, if you look at my YouTube channel, when we use the Z plugin Maya blend shapes. You can do blend shapes using basically morph targets. That's how this works. It's it's not projection based, it's vertex position morph based. However, let's go ahead and delete that morph target out of here. Uh, so we have the detailed ear sitting here, and then we have the head sitting here. Projection doesn't require the same geometry. Like we've discussed before, we have this head, and let's say we want to project this off and make it match our detailed head. Again, we'll turn off X symmetry. We'll go to BZP on this side, and we'll use our projection brush to just shove these uh, verts back. And when I go into solo mode and have polyframe turned on, you're going to see it's just pushing those verts back. So it doesn't matter if this uh, topology changes. In fact, I can go over here. I can hold down Shift. I can turn on Sculptures Pro. Let's go ahead and turn off uh, auto masking, back face masking, so I can turn use Sculptures Pro. Hold down Shift, and I'm going to completely change this geometry. I'm changing the verts. Uh, as we speak. I can go in here and I can... I'm changing verts. This doesn't matter. Go out of polyframe mode temporarily. Go out of solo mode. In fact, let's go to detailed ear and we'll use the history recall brush on this side. Control tap. Go to the head. B H R and we'll go ahead and turn off Sculptures Pro. So again, I'm just going to project this back using the history recall brush on this side. And if I go here, it's just pushing those verts back. Doesn't care about morphs, it just cares about projecting those verts to another surface. So that's the difference between morph and Z project. Of course, I can always go through here and control drag and then read Dynamesh. Make sure you have X symmetry turned on and you're good to go. So just as a quick recap, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll turn off this little bottom subtool. So we'll just focus on this one subtool here. You can go through here, you can use your Damien standard brush. I'm gonna turn off X symmetry, I'm just gonna work on one side. So you can go through here and you can put a big scar on here, and then you can hold down Alt and you can kind of build up, and then you can go into your pinch brush and kind of pinch this together, and then you can go back through your history or go to a completely different subtool, Control Tap, that point in history, and then uh, Brush History Recall Brush, you can go through and you can project back, and you can also drop that uh, Z intensity way down, and you can like just kind of softly push it back, or you can crank it way up, and you can very harshly kind of go through and project back just to kind of get different effects. And of course, this can go across history of a single subtool or completely different subtools if you want to.